The month I decided that blokes were a total waste of time was the exact same month I got completely neurotic about being too old to have a baby. Tina was pregnant, and she was only ten last time I looked. Come on, you little monkey, have a holiday to book. They're certain it's a boy, and she should know she's a midwife. They, come and feel this. Feel our Tina. I don't want to feel her. Oh, go on, then. No. You can tell she's thirty. <laughs> <laughs> and you could. I never felt jealous before. I didn't want a boyfriend or a relationship. I stopped looking at blokes thinking, poor, wouldn't mind a bit of that. And I caught myself going, what would he look like in a pram? Anything in trousers suddenly became a sperm sample, period. Wasn't my fault. I was driven by a primeval fixation. I didn't invent that. I got it from a pamphlet at the Lesbian Resource Centre. Pick your donor very, very carefully, sweetheart. Don't leave it so late you've got to rush in like we did. Straight home from school now, Gordon. Fuck off, you fat cow! Sperm sample jar six, turkey basters two, rubber gloves six. If your donor's wearing condoms, make sure they're non-spermicidal. Salt and vinegar on leaves. Uh, yes, please. Once I really set my heart on having one, I started getting paranoid about quality control. Truth be told, I wasn't exactly spoiled for DNA working in a chippy. I decided to go up market and widen my options a bit. I started getting up early to join the white collar workers. like that. <laughs> oh, not being rude, well, I am, but you know what I mean. <laughs> or are you? I'm coming from work, actually. I'm a doctor. What kind of doctor? Accident emergency. Crap, we tell nothing. But another six months and I'm into general surgeries. This is my stop. Mine too. Yeah, I walk from here, grab a paper, buy some ciggies, smoke one on the way, and then sleep through everybody else's working day. It's depressing, isn't it? No, not a... What do you smoke? Marlboro's. Uh, lights or reds? Reds. How, how many a day? Oh, ignore me, I'm just nosing. <laughs> how many roughly? As many as I can shift between work and sleep, which isn't very many. Why? Dunno. Well, nice meeting you. Thanks for the company. And? And? Come on. Phone number. Bye. Faye. Sorry? Faye. My name's Faye. All right. John. 9288059. Oh, excuse me. Whereabouts am I exactly? <laughs> You'll love this bit when it's your turn, Faye. Changes your life, doesn't it, Julie? It does. Oh, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. There isn't an experience in the world compares to being given your baby that first time. Is there, Julie? There isn't. My doctor's not phoned me back, has he? Well, I can't hang around.
If they ask where I worked, I'd say Phillips, and they'd all nod like they know where it is. What about you? At Dixon's. But I made it up. A screwdriver I used building Erdvik combination cotton playpen. Um, Andy, by the way. All right, Faye. So, um, would you fancy coming for a drink sometime, Faye? I'd have to think about that. Oh, go on then. <laughs> I don't know if you'll make it onto the shortlist. Depends on all sorts. Manners, medical history. Stock management, which is mainly all done by computer nowadays. Oh, you've but you've got lovely to... eyes. Thanks. But they're only as clever as the guy who's punching the keyboard, aren't they? So somebody's got to watch the data for Mom's side or your dad's? Takes some doing. Uh, Mum's? Colour your dad's? Brown. Kind of women do you normally go for, Andy? Slipping already if I'm having to ask for compliments. Well, I'm sitting here with an hard on if that means anything, Faye. Relationships, no access visits, no maintenance. really, but you can't meet people in a company car. They're just 30 grand coffins or walnut and padding, but nobody ever wants to get in with you. It's all a waste of money. Take your order. The starters are very filling. Actually, I fancy the beef. Do you? Can you do the beef as a starter? We can if you serve it as crisps, sir. 